Today we're going to be making a barn quilt that is simple enough for anyone to make. It only involves two colors. Prior to filming this video, I made a palette sign 24 inches square and then I painted the whole board white and sanded it to give it a distressed look. The first step to drawing out the design is to make a few lines with a yardstick. The first line I make is a line right down the center. So it's 24 inches, so I make a line right at 12 inches. Now to make sure that I get it as straight as possible, I make a mark down low and then another mark up high. And then I connect those marks with a straight line. Then I turn the board and do the same thing horizontally. The next thing I do is I make marks six inches away from the edge of the sign. Then I make a straight line with the yardstick. I do this on all four sides. Now it's time to start painting. This time I use painter's tape to make things go even easier. Using the design, I place the painter's tape diagonally, meeting at the corners precisely, and I press down the painter's tape to make sure that no paint got underneath it. The reason I skip around is because I'm trying to avoid putting tape on wet paint. You could easily change this to any color that you would like. At the end, you may realize that some of the paint leaked out underneath the tape. If that happens, all you have to do is take the paint that you used and touch it up. I always finish up my barn quilts with a clear coat to protect them. So here's the finished product. This is a super easy barn quilt. It didn't take me long at all to finish it. Anyone can do it. Thank you so much for watching.